Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal, and in this video, let's talk about the return difference between Nifty 50 equal weight and Nifty 50. And this difference is at an all time high. And what does this imply and why this is the case? So to understand what I'm trying to say, let's take a look at every possible two year returns in the history of Nifty 50, which is the pink line and Nifty 50 equal weight, which is the brown line. Now, Nifty 50 is uh, constructed by taking the top 50 stocks uh, by market capitalization, free float market capitalization, that is the number of shares which are freely available for trading at the NSE and the stock with the highest market capitalization has the highest weight. So if you look at Nifty 50, about uh, 50 to 60 percent of the um, stock portfolio will be just about 10 stocks and if you take 15 stocks or 20 stocks, it will be like 75-80% uh, of, uh, of the entire portfolio. Whereas if you take Nifty 50 equal weight, each of the 50 stocks will have about 2% weightage. So there is an equal weighting of all the 50 stocks, whether it is the first stock by market capitalization or the 50th stock. The same logic holds true for Nifty 100 and Nifty 100 equal weight. Nifty next 50 uh, considers the bottom half of the uh, nifty 100 and uses market capitalization to weight them so though that's the basic difference so now if you look at the pink line here it, uh, it has got 3725 two year returns and the brown line which is nifty 50 equal weight has has got the same number of returns and if you look at this uh, region in the white oval here the brown line has dropped below the pink line for the first time by so much by a huge amount it has never been that huge before it's, this is the biggest that has been therefore the current uh, two year returns of the nifty 50 equal weight is significantly lower than that of the nifty 50 and this has been the case since september 2017 and uh, what i have plotted here is i have taken this two year return difference that is nifty 50 equal weight two year return minus nifty 50 two year return that's the brown line that's plotted in the left axis and in the right axis the nifty 50 total returns index is shown and you can see here that the return difference is the lowest that is the nifty 50 has fallen the lowest below nifty uh, sorry the nifty 50 equal weight has fallen the lowest below nifty 50 in its uh, short history so uh, you can um, I don't want to infer too much about it, but you can see that uh, from December 2004 to about September 2007, the, the return continuously decreased. And then when the 2008 crash uh, happened, it started moving up again. And then there was a crash in 2011 or so, then it fell down again. And then from, 2000, uh, from about September 2017, the mid caps small caps started uh, uh, more gradually started their corrections and uh, the sensex and the nifty kind of moved up or stayed up and when this happened this return difference started becoming more and more prominent for a few years it, the return was close to zero but then it fell down uh, markedly in the last couple of years and you can see that the situation is very similar in the case of nifty 100 equal weight which is the red line and nifty 100 which is the uh, blue line you can see that the red line has fallen down significantly below the blue line for the first time and if you look at the nifty 100 equal weight two year return minus nifty 100 two year return which is the brown line uh, plotted against the nifty 100 which is the blue line you can see that although it is not the all time uh, low all time low is somewhere here just at the start of the 2008 crash but the current all time low is heading very very close to that all time low now uh, what does this mean i you can talk about mean reversion and so on but this uh, difference cannot be so much for such a long uh, time it must change direction i don't it's not mean reversion but it must change direction at some point in time and when it changes direction most likely uh, the uh, most likely the NIF, the top stocks in the nifty or the top stocks in the sensex should uh, fall down or come down in valuation of course the other thing could happen the bottom stocks in the nifty 100 or the bottom stocks in nifty 50 could move up the mid cap segments could move up the small cap segments to start moving up and then also the return difference will come down but um, it looks more likely that uh, nifty and sensex will first correct 
because they've been uh, moving up almost regardless of what the market is and only then uh, uh, will there be a revival in the mid cap and small cap segments. So you can uh, now I have plotted again two year returns for Nifty 100 equal weight which is a red line and the white line is the Nifty next 50. So you can notice how there is a very strong correlation between Nifty next 50 and the Nifty 100 equal weight and uh, this is again because of the weights because the Nifty 100 has got equal weights of the bottom 50 stocks it's more or less comparable to the Nifty next 50 which has got only the bottom 50 stocks although uh, weighted by market. Uh, capitalization. So to understand the reasons for this, let's take a look at the two year returns of all the 100 stocks in the Nifty 100 and in the x axis is the weightage in the uh, Nifty 100 index and the uh, y axis is the two year uh, CAGR or the annualized return. Notice that the top 15 stocks have the highest return and uh, only a few of them are actually negative, many of them are very strongly positive. And there is a big bunch of stocks right here which are trading very close to zero and uh, many of them are actually negative. So if you look at the Nifty 100 equal weight or the Nifty 50 equal weight, they will be having more of these stocks because, uh, because it's equally weighted, the weightage of these stocks will be significantly lower and they will have the same amount of weight for these stocks. Therefore, the Nifty 100 equal weight and Nifty 50 equal weight are having a very, very uh, uh, market deviation from the Nifty 100 and the Nifty 50. And if you look at the volatility of the top 100 stocks, again you see that the top 15 stocks have the lowest volatility and then uh, along with high returns, whereas uh, the, 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 there are many stocks which are very low weight in the Nifty 100, but they have very high volatility. So that's again pulling down the equal uh, weight indices. Now in my review of the Mirai Asset Large Cap Fund, I had said that those who are holding large cap stocks, I mean large cap mutual funds, actively manage large cap mutual funds, if they want to wait and watch, they can wait and watch until the return difference between Nifty 100 or uh, sorry Nifty 50 equal weight and Nifty 50 uh, decreases and Nifty 50 equal weight starts moving up. When that starts moving up, your actively managed large cap fund should also start moving up. If that doesn't happen, then it's time for you to switch to large cap. We will talk more about uh, active uh, uh, large cap fund performance. If this is the reason for poor active large cap fund performance in a separate study that we will not confuse that here. But if you're holding active large cap uh, mutual funds, then you better look for a time when your Nifty 50 equal weight index is moving up and when that starts moving up, your fund return should pick up. If it does not pick up, then you can guarantee move to large cap funds without any uh, hesitation. I would suggest do it, uh, do the switch to index funds right away. But if you want to wait and watch, this is an indication for you to uh, wait and watch. I don't want to read too much into what this means and so on. But it, I mean, it does look intuitively clear that this return difference between Nifty 50 equal weight and Nifty 50 or correspondingly for the Nifty 100 will not last so low, will not be so negative for so long, it must correct at some point and when that starts correcting, I think uh, we can expect the Nifty and the Sensex to start correcting, although we cannot conclusively say that would be the case looking at past data, but intuitively that seems clear. So that's what I wanted to say, I'll catch you later, bye bye.